Hello guys, I'm Nena, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do some intense work to have lean and tone arms. I'll be using a pair of two pound dumbbells. You can start from zero pounds up to four or five pounds if you want to increase the intensity a bit. All right, let's start moving. <laughs> We will start with a warm-up for arms, shoulders and back. With the dumbbells in your hands, extend your arms in front with your palms facing down. Bring your hands back and forth, separating your shoulder blades and bringing them back together as you push them down to keep your neck long with your shoulders away from your ears. Of course, you must contract your abdomen while doing all these movements. Stay with your shoulders back. Now move your arms up and back to the front. Don't lift your shoulders. And as always, use your breath. Inhale as you go up. Exhale as you go down. In the next one, stay with your arms up and this time move your shoulders to your ears and push them back down. Come on, continuous fluid movements. Now press your shoulders down and keep your arms up for a few seconds. From here, we move on to bring arms to the sides and now separate your shoulder blades and move them back together, but on the lateral line of the body. They are very subtle movements, but they will help you become aware of your scapular stability. So try to focus and really feel that area of the body. Now we are simply going to combine all the movements, arms up, to the front and to the side. And repeat, up, front, side. Very good. Making circles. Keep going. One more. And now reverse the circle, up, to the side and to the front. Very good. We're almost done. I know your shoulders are burning. We have a great training session ahead, so we must prepare well. Finally, stay with your arms in front and make small circles in and now out. Stop the movement, don't drop your arms yet and rest. Now we're ready to start our workout. Go to the mat to place yourself in the tabletop position. Put down one of the dumbbells and hold the other with your right hand. We will work in a cross chain to challenge our core. Raise the left leg and the right arm with the dumbbell in front. Once you find a balance, bring the right arm to the side of your hip without touching the ground. From there, lift it behind higher than your back and keep it close to the body. Go up and down. We'll be working in series of 10 reps. If at any point you feel that you cannot keep your balance, you can rest your left knee on the floor and continue working with your arm. No stress. In the next one, stay up and make little pulses. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay up. Now bend and stretch your elbow behind you and with your leg try to do the same move just to add an extra fun. Every time you stretch, contract the muscle well. We are working the tricep, so no more back wings. Don't forget to tighten your belly in this position so that your back is always protected. And the arm resting on the floor must push well. We have already done a preparation at the beginning so that the upper back is very active. Now we're going to make one last move. Turn your palm facing your hip and from there you will open the arm to the side and back. 
open your arm at shoulder level and then close it as if you were pressing a ball between your armpit and torso. And as you can see, I combine the movement of the arm with the leg, opening it out. But again, this is optional, guys. Stay back. And we're almost done on this side, guys. You're doing great. And we're ready. Let's switch sides. I'm going to turn so that my working arm is facing the camera. Okay, grab the weight with your left hand and raise your right leg behind you. Find your balance first and then start the exercises with your arm. We'll make 10 of each. First, lift back with your arm straight. Remember to keep it close to your body. Now stay up and make pulses. After the eighth, flex and extend your arm without losing the elbow height and contracting your tricep when stretching. Combine the movement with your leg. That's right, great work! Sometimes it's difficult to maintain coordination, but don't worry, it's okay. It is me, I'm crazy, I know. That's why I keep adding elements to an exercise. I just love a challenge. So now you're going to leave your arm behind, turn the palm of your hand towards your hip and open and close to the side. You can do it normal or combining the movement with the leg. couple more reps and we're done. Wonderful! Let's move on. This time we'll be kneeling and we'll also do some quads work. Take a dumbbell in each hand and hold them in front of you as if you were holding a tray. Bring your glutes down, almost touching your heels and keeping your torso upright. Stretch your arms in front and raise your hips. Return and here rotate your arms out without taking your elbows off your ribs. Oh my god, so many instructions. Again, arms stretch out in front of your face as you lift your glutes. Arms and glutes return and once there you turn your arms out without separating your elbows from the body. That's it, you got it. Go on for one. And two, very good, three, four, and just one more, five. Stay with your arms out and now stand to the sides while you raise your glutes. And when you go down, make a half circle inward. All these movements allow us to work all around the arm also activating shoulder rotators. They are very complete exercises. You can notice my happy face because I really love these kinds of routines. Keep going. Now I want you to keep your arms straight at your sides and bring your hands towards your ears, flexing from the elbows without dropping them. Bring them together in front of the face, trying to bring them as close as possible, but be careful, don't let your shoulders rise. That's right, we continue working with scapular activation, but now we are working biceps and chest muscles.
keep your back very straight, a beautiful posture. And I can't stop smiling, this workout really feels great. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. To finish, lower your glutes again and stay with your elbows bent in front and pulls up while you push your shoulders down and you keep your elbows touching or as close to each other as possible. Last one, stay up and release. Beautiful! Now let's move on with the last part. Turn your hands facing back with your arms stretched down and your torso slightly bent forward. Now just take your arms back as far as you can and come back. We will do 10 reps, then pulses and then two more variations of the same move. Don't let your head hang, keep your back straight and your belly tight. Stay back for a second, feeling the work in your arms. Now pulses, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back and turn your palms facing in towards your hips. And do the same, go back, back, back as far as you can. Stay back for a second, feeling the work in those arms. I know they must be tired by now, but it will be worth it. Just a few more reps. Come on, come on, don't quit. Stay back doing little pulses. Come back down and now turn your palms forward and repeat the series in this position. Cheer up, this is the last work. Very good, five more. Great, only eight pulses left. Four, three, two, one. Last effort, stay up and relax your arms. Excellent job. Now a brief stretch. I have more videos of complete stretching I'll leave you the link in the description below. Circle your shoulders to release tension. Cross your right arm in front of your chest and push it with the other hand. To go deeper, take your hand over the opposite shoulder towards the shoulder blade. Now pointing your elbow up, push up to bring your hand between your shoulder blades. Relax and repeat on the other side. Press your arm, keep your shoulder down. Now hand over your shoulder, push back. And elbow up. Try to keep your back straight here. Release, interlock your fingers behind your back and pull your arms down to stretch your neck a little. Wow, it feels so good. It's a well-deserved stretch. Breathe very deeply. Make small circles again or stretch as your body asks you to. Thanks for joining me. You did an excellent work. I'm very proud of you. You made it. Beautiful work, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you continue to receive notifications of my new videos. And once you do, I'll leave you a couple of suggestions here to continue training your entire body. Thanks for letting me be your fitness coach. I'm Nena for real, and I hope to see you soon.